In every corner of the world, millions of people are living with a condition they might not even be aware of, a condition that silently affects their health and quality of life. This condition is chronic kidney disease, commonly known as CKD. The kidneys, two bean-shaped organs located at the lower back, are essential to our health. Their main job. To filter and remove waste products and excess fluids from our bodies, which are then excreted through our urine. But they do much more than that. They're crucial in regulating blood pressure, ensuring the balance of electrolytes, and supporting the production of red blood cells. Chronic kidney disease describes the gradual loss of kidney function over time. It's a stealthy assailant, often progressing quietly for years without noticeable symptoms. By the time symptoms become apparent, significant damage may already have occurred. Globally, CKD is a growing health concern. The World Health Organization estimates that millions of people worldwide are affected by CKD, with many more at risk due to factors like diabetes and high blood pressure. It is a leading cause of morbidity and mortality across the globe, affecting individuals and healthcare systems alike. The importance of kidney function to overall health cannot be overstated. Every day, our kidneys filter around 120 to 150 quarts of blood, removing toxins and excess water. They play a pivotal role in keeping our bodies clean, balanced, and functioning properly. Yet, despite their critical role, kidney health is often overlooked until problems arise. Chronic kidney disease is a silent epidemic, one that requires more awareness and understanding. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the realities of CKD, its impact, and how we can combat this global health challenge together. Stay tuned to learn more about CKD, its causes, symptoms, and how we can fight back. Let's start with one, what is chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a condition characterized by the gradual loss of kidney function over time. When the kidneys are damaged, they cannot filter blood as well as they should, which can lead to the accumulation of waste products in the body. This can affect the body's ability to regulate blood pressure, make red blood cells, and perform other critical functions that kidneys are responsible for. Difference between CKD and acute kidney injury, AKI. CKD differs significantly from acute kidney injury, AKI, which is a sudden episode of kidney failure or kidney damage that happens within a few hours or days. AKI causes a buildup of waste products in your blood and makes it hard for your kidneys to maintain the right balance of fluid in your body. AKI can lead to chronic kidney disease if not treated properly, but it is often reversible with prompt and appropriate treatment. Stages of chronic kidney disease. CKD is categorized into five stages, based on the level of kidney function or, more specifically, the glomerular filtration rate, GFR, which measures how well the kidneys filter waste from the blood. 1. Stage 1. Kidney damage with normal or high GFR. At this stage, the kidneys are functioning normally, but evidence of kidney disease is observed through findings in blood or urine tests, or imaging studies. 2. Stage 2. Mild loss of kidney function. Kidney function is slightly below normal, and there may be signs of kidney disease. 3. Stage 3, moderate loss of kidney function, subdivided into Stage 3A and Stage 3B. Symptoms may become more apparent in Stage 3. 4. Stage 4, severe loss of kidney function. At this stage, the damage is more severe, and the risk of kidney failure increases. Preparations for dialysis or a kidney transplant may begin. 5. Stage 5, Kidney Failure. This is also known as end-stage renal disease, ESRD. At this stage, kidney function is insufficient to sustain life without dialysis or a kidney transplant. Understanding the stages of CKD is crucial for managing the condition effectively. Early detection and treatment can often slow the progression of chronic kidney disease, helping to maintain kidney function and reduce the risk of complications. Next, number two, causes of chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, can be caused by a variety of conditions that affect the kidneys over time. Understanding these causes is crucial for both preventing the onset of CKD and managing the condition in those who have been diagnosed. Here are some of the most common conditions that lead to CKD, as well as other potential causes. 1. Diabetes, the leading cause of CKD. High blood sugar levels associated with diabetes can damage the nephrons, the filtering units of the kidneys, leading to diabetic nephropathy. 2. High blood pressure, the second leading cause of CKD. High blood pressure can cause damage to the blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to function properly. 
Other potential causes. 1. Glomerulonephritis. This group of diseases involves the inflammation of the glomeruli, the filtering units of the kidneys. It can be acute or chronic and can lead to CKD if not properly managed. 2. Polycystic kidney disease, PKD a genetic disorder characterized by the growth of numerous cysts filled with fluid in the kidneys. These cysts can interfere with kidney function and lead to CKD. 3. Prolonged obstruction of the urinary tract, conditions such as enlarged prostate, kidney stones, and some cancers can block the flow of urine, leading to kidney damage and increased risk of CKD. 4. Recurrent kidney infection, pyelonephritis repeated kidney infections can cause scarring and damage, potentially leading to CKD. 5. Autoimmune diseases, conditions such as lupus and IgA nephropathy, Berger's disease, where the immune system attacks kidney tissue, can cause chronic damage and lead to CKD. 6. Heavy metal exposure, long-term exposure to certain heavy metals, such as lead or cadmium, can cause kidney damage and increase the risk of CKD. 7. Hereditary factors, some forms of kidney disease are hereditary and may predispose individuals to CKD. 8. Medications, long-term use of medications that are potentially toxic to the kidneys, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, and certain antibiotics, can contribute to CKD. Preventing or managing these conditions through lifestyle changes, medication, and regular medical checkups can help reduce the risk of developing CKD or slow its progression. Early detection and treatment of CKD are vital for maintaining kidney function and preventing complications. Next, number 3, Symptoms of Chronic Kidney Disease. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is often referred to as a silent disease because in its early stages, it typically shows no symptoms. This silent nature means that many people with early-stage CKD are unaware they have it. As the disease progresses, however, symptoms become more apparent and can significantly affect an individual's quality of life. Early stages symptoms, often silent, in the early stages of CKD, most patients do not experience any symptoms. The disease is often detected during routine blood or urine tests for unrelated health issues. Symptoms as CKD progresses as CKD advances to more severe stages, symptoms may include Nausea and vomiting, accumulation of waste products in the blood, uremia, can lead to nausea or vomiting. Fatigue and weakness, due to anemia or accumulation of toxins in the blood that can affect energy levels. Swollen extremities, swelling in the legs, ankles, feet, or hands due to fluid retention caused by the kidney's failure to eliminate water waste. Changes in urine output, this could be an increase, decrease, or even nocturia, frequent urination at night. Difficulty breathing, fluid retention in the lungs can make it hard to breathe. Persistent itching, waste products in the blood can cause severe itching. High blood pressure, difficulty regulating fluid and salt balances can lead to increased blood pressure. Muscle cramps and twitching, imbalances in electrolytes such as calcium and phosphorus. Diagnosis of chronic kidney disease. Diagnosing CKD involves several tests to assess kidney function and identify the cause of kidney damage. Blood tests. Serum creatinine and blood urea nitrogen, BUN elevated levels can indicate kidney dysfunction. Estimated glomerular filtration rate, EGFR calculates kidney function based on creatinine levels, age, sex, and race. Urine tests. Urinalysis, checks for abnormalities such as protein, albuminuria, or blood in the urine, which can indicate kidney damage. Albumin to creatinine ratio, ACR measures the amount of albumin in the urine compared to creatinine, helping to detect early stages of CKD. Imaging tests. Ultrasound or CT scan, these can provide images of the kidneys, helping to identify any abnormalities in size, shape, or structure. Kidney biopsy in some cases, a biopsy may be necessary. This involves taking a small sample of kidney tissue to examine under a microscope for signs of kidney disease. Early detection and diagnosis of CKD are critical for managing the disease and slowing its progression. If you have risk factors for CKD, such as diabetes or high blood pressure, regular monitoring through blood and urine tests is recommended. And before we dive into the next point, hey, if this video has been helpful to you so far, a subscribe would mean a lot to us. What that does for us is it gives us an indicator that we are building an audience and that we are creating helpful content for people. Now, let's get back with point number four, management and treatment. Managing and treating chronic kidney disease, CKD, 
involves a comprehensive approach that includes controlling underlying conditions, making lifestyle changes, using medications effectively, and, in advanced stages, considering dialysis or kidney transplantation. Here's a detailed look at each aspect, managing underlying conditions. Controlling blood sugar, for patients with diabetes, maintaining blood glucose levels within the target range is crucial to slow the progression of CKD. This may involve insulin therapy, oral hypoglycemic agents, and regular monitoring of blood sugar levels. Managing blood pressure, high blood pressure accelerates kidney damage. The target blood pressure for most CKD patients is usually less than 140-90 mmHg, but this can vary. Medications such as ACE inhibitors or angiotensin II receptor blockers ARBs, are often prescribed due to their protective effects on the kidneys. Lifestyle changes. Diet, a kidney-friendly diet can help manage CKD. This may involve limiting intake of certain nutrients like phosphorus, potassium, and sodium to help keep the kidneys from working too hard. A dietitian specializing in CKD can provide personalized advice. Exercise. Regular physical activity can help control blood pressure, reduce stress, maintain a healthy weight, and improve overall health. Quitting smoking. Smoking can worsen kidney damage and slow down the progression of CKD. Quitting smoking is recommended to protect kidney function. Limiting alcohol. Moderate alcohol consumption is advised since excessive drinking can cause changes in kidney function and increase blood pressure. Medications. Blood pressure medications. Besides ACE inhibitors and ARBs, other classes of blood pressure medications may be used to manage hypertension in CKD patients. Diuretics, used to help control blood pressure and reduce swelling by removing excess fluid from the body. Erythropoiesis stimulating agents, ESAs these drugs are used to treat anemia associated with CKD by stimulating the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells. Phosphate binders, these medications help control high phosphorus levels in the blood, which can be harmful to bones and cardiovascular health in CKD patients. Advanced treatment options. Dialysis. When CKD progresses to end-stage renal disease, ESRD, dialysis may be necessary. This treatment performs the function of the kidneys by removing waste products and excess fluid from the blood. There are two main types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Kidney transplantation. This involves replacing the damaged kidneys with a healthy kidney from a donor. A transplant can offer a better quality of life and more freedom than dialysis for some patients, but it requires taking medications to prevent the body from rejecting the new kidney. The management and treatment of CKD are tailored to the individual's needs, stage of kidney disease, and overall health. Regular follow-ups with healthcare providers are essential to monitor kidney function and adjust treatment as necessary. Next, number 5, Prevention Tips. Preventing Chronic Kidney Disease, CKD or slowing its progression is crucial, especially for those at high risk. Adopting healthy lifestyle changes and undergoing regular screenings can significantly impact kidney health. Here are some essential prevention tips, lifestyle changes. Maintain a healthy diet, focus on a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Limit foods high in sodium, added sugars, and saturated fats. Specific dietary adjustments may be recommended for individuals at risk of CKD, such as reducing protein intake to decrease kidney workload. Stay hydrated, drinking enough water helps the kidneys clear sodium, urea, and toxins from the body, reducing the risk of chronic kidney damage. Exercise regularly, physical activity helps control blood pressure, reduce heart disease risk, and maintain a healthy weight, all of which are beneficial for kidney health. Monitor blood pressure. High blood pressure is a leading cause of CKD. Keeping blood pressure under control through lifestyle changes and medication can help prevent kidney damage. Control blood sugar levels. For those with diabetes, managing blood sugar levels is critical in preventing kidney damage. Regular monitoring and treatment adjustments can help. Quit smoking. Smoking can worsen kidney damage and accelerate the progression of CKD. Quitting smoking improves overall kidney function. Limit alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol intake can cause changes in kidney function and increase blood pressure. Moderation is key. Avoid overuse of NSAIDs. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen can harm the kidneys if taken regularly over a long period. Use these medications sparingly and consult a healthcare provider for alternatives. Importance of regular screenings. For those at risk, individuals with diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, 
or a family history of kidney failure are at increased risk for CKD. Regular screenings are crucial for early detection and management. Screening tests, blood pressure measurements, blood tests for creatinine to estimate GFR, glomerular filtration rate, and urine tests for albumin, a type of protein, are standard screenings that help assess kidney function. Frequency of screenings, the frequency of screenings should be based on individual risk factors. Those at higher risk may need annual screenings, while others might require less frequent monitoring. Early detection through regular screenings can lead to the identification of CKD in its initial stages, allowing for timely interventions that can significantly slow the progression of kidney damage. Combining lifestyle modifications with regular medical checkups provides the best strategy for preventing CKD or managing it effectively if diagnosed. Next, number 6, living with chronic kidney. Living with chronic kidney disease, CKD, requires adjustments in lifestyle, diet, and healthcare management to maintain quality of life and slow the disease's progression. Here's a comprehensive look at adapting to life with CKD, adjusting to life with CKD dietary changes. Nutritional management, work with a renal dietitian to develop a kidney-friendly eating plan. This may involve limiting certain nutrients such as potassium, phosphorus, and sodium to help manage blood pressure and prevent waste buildup in your body. Fluid intake, depending on your stage of CKD, you may need to monitor and adjust your fluid intake. Too much fluid can lead to swelling and increased blood pressure, while too little can cause dehydration. Medication regimen. Medication management, it's crucial to take all medications as prescribed by your healthcare provider to manage CKD and its symptoms. This may include medications to lower blood pressure, manage blood sugar, correct anemia, and more. Regular monitoring, keep regular appointments with your healthcare provider to monitor your kidney function and adjust your treatment plan as necessary. Support systems family support. Open communication, share your feelings, experiences, and needs with your family to help them understand your condition and how they can support you. Involvement in care, family members can assist with medication management, attending appointments, and making dietary changes. CKD communities and forums. Online support, joining CKD-related online communities, forums, or social media groups can provide emotional support, practical advice, and shared experiences from others living with CKD. Local support groups, look for local CKD or kidney disease support groups where you can meet others facing similar challenges. Navigating healthcare working with healthcare professionals. Build a healthcare team, your team may include your primary care physician, a nephrologist, kidney specialist, a renal dietitian, a pharmacist, and possibly other specialists. Active participation, be an active participant in your care by asking questions, discussing treatment options, and expressing any concerns about your treatment plan. Understanding insurance. Insurance coverage, familiarize yourself with your health insurance policy to understand what is covered, including medications, treatments, and visits to specialists. Financial assistance, if needed, explore financial assistance programs for medications, treatment, or insurance premiums. Many organizations offer resources for individuals with CKD. Living with CKD involves navigating complex healthcare information, making significant lifestyle adjustments, and seeking emotional and social support. By actively managing your health, engaging with a supportive community, and utilizing available resources, you can lead a fulfilling life despite the challenges posed by CKD. If you suspect you may have symptoms of CKD, it's crucial to seek professional medical advice. Early intervention can make a significant difference in outcomes and quality of life. Health professionals can provide you with the guidance and treatment necessary to manage the condition effectively. We encourage everyone watching this video to share it with friends, family, or anyone who might benefit from this information. Your engagement can help spread awareness and potentially aid those unknowingly living with CKD. If you have personal experiences or tips related to managing CKD, please share them in the comments below. Your insights could provide invaluable support and encouragement to others navigating similar challenges. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to HeathPro for more health-related content. By staying informed, we can all take proactive steps towards better kidney health and overall well-being. Thank you for watching and let's continue to support each other in our journeys towards a healthier life.